Hello everybody, today we're going to be going over how to install Daggerfall Unity. This is going to be like a part of a 3, 4, maybe even 5 part series on Daggerfall related content because Daggerfall is a complicated game and if I try and include everything in one video, that's just not going to work out. So uh, yeah. Uh, for the first first video, just gonna be installation, making sure you've got everything where it's supposed to be, and then in the next video, we will talk about let's say the class creation and all that stuff. But yeah, let's let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. So, first things first. You can the easiest place to get your Daggerfall files will be to go off Steam. And just, uh, you know, just download it. Yeah, you know, you're going to go, like, you know, install it. And you'll get, and uh, wait wait for that to be done. And then you'll see that on the dfworkshop.net page, I mean, they even tell you. You can go download it from there. Or you can just download the file separately. But, for the heck of it, let's say you got the curiosity. Well, the Steam version you can play the DOS version for comparison as well. That works out. Um, also, there's a couple other goodies um, that I like to point out with that. So before I even show you, well, once you install, I want to point out that when you go, because we got to go extract the files anyways, when you go to Steam, Steam Apps, Common, and you do Elder Scrolls, Daggerfall, wow, look at that, we got a manual. We got a manual. We got the, the manual for the game. Uh, and... Uh, it's not the most descriptive manual, but it, it gives you a lot of the lore and stuff like that. So keep that in mind. Anyways, once you got that installed, you see here, this is this is a good this is a good guide in case my words aren't enough. Go to the releases page here. So you have to visit this website anyways, or you know, you can just find the GitHub. I can link this as well in the description. Go here. Go in uh download. You just scroll down a lot. Download DFU Windows 64 bit and I'm on because I'm on Windows 64 bit. So go do that if you're on Windows 64 bit. <laughs> and then there's the other versions. I'm not talking about those. Uh, I don't want to imagine the, the cringe that you have to go to for uh, for Linux uh, for a couple of certain things. Specifically finding out where your saves are located at. All right, so you open up that, and now just just make a folder. I got this Daggerfall folder on my desktop. Go and drag. This is an empty folder, right? Nothing in it. Drag that over here. All right, and then I'm also, uh, you know, I what, you know what? Well, the game is gonna ask you where your files are. Okay, just in case it's not clear where your game files are when I when you downloaded the Steam, go to Program Files x86. Go to Steam. Go to Steam Apps, go to Common, then go to the Elder Scrolls Dagger file in case you couldn't, you know, read here or where the game files are uh, specifically. You want the this, or you were really, yeah, you, okay, you know, you go to Dagger. Do we have DFCD over here? Go to Dagger right here and uh, go copy this Arena 2 folder and paste it here. Paste it in the same directory, and you'll be good. And uh, the the CD folder has it, an Arena Two fo uh, folder as well, but you know, it might have slightly less content because I noticed that when you compare the file sizes, it's four eighty two megabyte, and this one is uh, five hundred five. Who knows? Who knows? Maybe it's just that there's like there's less files here or something, and that's not the actual Arena Two files that we we gotta worry about. But I'm not taking any chances. You copy the Arena Two folder from here. Now that we've got that out of the way, uh, let's see, let's see. Do I have all right? Now that we have that out of the way, little double click here. See if it knows where our folder is or recognizes that we've copied it over there. Okay, would you look at that? Would you look at that? It didn't ask us. If we did not put it in the Arena 2, you'd have to manually go 
to your Steam folder and you can click all the way. But well, we did this in advance, so now we're all good. Um, there's some other things I'll, I'll say before I end the video. And that is... kind of decrease the volume. The other things I'd like to say is we got some options here, right? You got, but um, this weapon swing mode is pretty important. It has to do with how you attack in that game and attack in the game. And I'll explain that in the second, oh no, not the second video, the third video. This is kind of self-explanatory because when you're looking at your <laughs> character and you're trying to swap it to get the character's gear and stuff clothing or whatever well yeah you got that option right there health in this game if i recall correctly is green red is stamina so you have the option to swap that if you think that's confusing because normally it's the other way around in later games What else can I say? Uh, Daggerfall's dungeons can get pretty large. So you can enable this to make the dungeon smaller. Keep in mind, this does not affect, this does not affect uh, pre-made dungeons. This affects the randomly generated dungeons. So uh, yeah, there are randomly generated dungeons, which is like a lot of the ones that you'll go to for side quests. And there's going to be the ones that are pre-made. Those aren't going to get affected by this. Sound font has to do with like the MIDI playback of the music. Because Daggerfall used MIDI's and do not use MP3's, WAVs, uh, I mean w WAV files, um, OGG's, none of that. The computer plays the music. Of course, this is emulating MIDI music. So if you have a different sound font installed mess with that if you don't know what a sound font is don't worry about it and besides there's music mods so you can change the music later on anyways and uh let's see let's see these are some other nice things i suppose These are, these are things that don't really, uh, what's it called? The, the, these two that are unchecked are not part of the original game. These are some nice things you can have. You normally wouldn't be able to enable magic item repairs. I Repair services take time. So, once again, these aren't in the vanilla. This one was. Magic item repairs were part of vanilla, but it was a cheat, basically. And, uh, let's see, let's see. Oh, I recommend raising this to, like, four or five hours, because when you're playing the game, there's going to be part parts where you have to wait around for a building to open. Open that, uh, so raise this a bit, so it's not illegal to loiter for more than three hours. Here, you can change your video settings, and as you can see, the field of view is pretty low. Uh, 65 wasn't actually that bad, but, you know, I'm going to raise it to 75 or let's do 78 for the heck of it. Terrain distance, max setup. Shadow resolution, I'll raise it to high. <laughs> sure, let's do that. And I don't even bother with video filters, even. Uh, these are for the colors of the buildings that you see on the maps when you're like in a town or something. But yeah, uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. This is already pretty long as it is. Um, yeah, one other thing I want to mention. Uh, helmets and shields in Vanilla Daggerfall do not tell you what material uh, they have. And you do kind of want to know that for character related reasons. Um, if, especially if you forbid a certain material from your character. So yeah, like if there's a leather helmet, chain helmet, and you say no leather, no chain, you do want to know that but instead of picking up something and not knowing. So yeah, like you'd slide that on. So yeah, see you guys in the next video.